seconds, but this is really late, stayed in the game, eight and a half minute mark. This is just favoring Marines all the way around. Um, it really depends if those fades can take down one of those face gates for a hive drop. And of course not just for hive drop, also for a little bit map control to take down more nodes. Uh, as long as the face gate inferno is up and ventilation is up, those nodes will not go down that easy. And at the same time they have to worry about double or power core not taking down. As we already have shotguns here and double. Wow, Almaty just going for the kill here. While two shotgunners around. But nice timing to go in. Um, yeah, the perm gorge or potential new perm gorge here frag even went down unfortunately. So there's no close redropping. I have a look here. Just A going fade and yeah, third in res by nicer is the next one close who can drop the who could drop the fourth node in double. We'll take ten more res for do so. And aliens but they keep doing a good job here, to be honest. Taking down a lot of marines, a lot of shotguns and keeping those res nodes alive. But it's just uh, playing with the time here. Um yeah, second IP here, just one of those spectators, referees, <laughs> asking the same time Peach dropped him. So Peach really has a good uh, game sense. Motion tracking is up and this is really helping Marines a lot to trap down one high fates. Um, especially when they keep um, harassing those cappers laser drilling. And this is a really long, long way back to the hive. And with motion tracking and the shotgun, those fates were gonna have a hard time since there's no movement chamber any close to evacuate easily. We got a fate working on the face gate in ventilation at the moment. Not quite sure how low it is. No, no med, no med spam here. The face gate, but there's a second shotgun. I'm just phasing in, or it was an LMG just picking a shotgun. Uh, but multi has. For quite a lot of HP, he could have tried to work on it, and instead he's going back home. But on the other hand, I'm, I do not know how low the face gate was. Um, but they really need to play maybe a little bit more risky to change anything. If they play super super safe, they will not take down any face gate. Um, they are just working in fates on the base. Whoa! The look must be low. The look must be really low. I want to see how low the look is. 19 HP. Oh my god. And Matt, he's so lucky all over the game. And yeah, the fate AA just yeah flashed here. Marine start. No good luck. But we they even drop comp lab now. On on the second time we have two. No, they're not going comp lab. They're going straight for double. And we have a dropper here at cargo. They're going for super mass res nodes. This is the only chance they can do to pump out a lot of fates to. To yeah, do some more harm to those marines. But just one or two one high fades, they will not cut it. That's why they're dropping so many res nodes, but maybe a little bit late now. Since yeah, the A should be going at least. Maybe weapon three is going. I'm not quite sure what Peach is going for, but they took down double. And Ellen's are back to three nodes. This is ooh, 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 not that good for Ellen's at this moment. And the fates are trying to work it, but immediately beaconing. And that didn't hurt, hurt marines at all, since they were all in double. They completed their mission to kill the nodes, they have no face gate there any... Anyway, so... Peach should have beaconed any, anyways, to be honest. And now they can easily move to comp lab. <laughs> so the beacon just played in for marines. Yeah, Complot will go down to those two shotgun flashes even with two, two fates coming in. And the Lurk, oh my god, this Lurk. Again, so lucky, just flying into straight into the shotgun at Almaty. How, mu how much luck do you have? Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Maybe he's just playing so risky so he can finally fade or even just go on us. Trying to change something, going on a face gate with one or two fate support. But remember, um, Marines first they have motion, and second, Honors is really bad on this map, especially for ventilation hive. There's just one way out, and this is those those horrible ladders at cargo. And if you go down there as an Honors, and there's no movement or chamber, no gorge to heal or anything, um, you're pretty much dead, Honors. So Honors is not a good option on this map, and. 
the more time goes on the field, the better Marines are. Since even if they lose one or two nodes from time to time, they keep alien nodes down too. Um, to two res nodes, since they kill computer lab after kill double. Marines are really doing a good job here, keeping the pressure up while trying to hold those two two um, base gate locations. Nice beacon timing. Amazingly nice beacon timing. There was perfect timing in both senses. First to save those two shotgunners and the second time to save the ventilation phase gate. This is really amazingly nice timing. Wow, thumbs up for Peachum. That's one of the reasons why he's one of one of the best commanders in the field, maybe the best commander at all in this game. And yeah, those fates uh, just go down here to shotguns <laughs> while working on a face gate. Wow, this looks really bad now. I think, yeah, all fates died. All three fates they had died. They lost four nodes to redrop power core, but with no life forms out, no hive um, in any future. I think this game is already over. Um, Ether AA, yeah, the, I think the advanced armory should be up at the moment, not quite sure if the minimap tells me so. Ah, uh, nice medding here, nice med spamming. Keeping the shotgun alive. Yeah, they can work for power core, they even try, the enemies are even trying to redrop double again since the only option they have to get more, get more life forms, for getting more life forms, you need more resonance. Um, and try to hold them, but they will have to face jetpacks any soon. Since I think, yeah, the Proto just got built. Proto Lab at a 15 50 minute mark in the field, so with like a minute research time, um, there should be jetpacks really, really soon. Peachum can afford it. He yeah, got three shotguns in the field, he got like five nodes here. And he's pushing for double again. Just dropped, and now there's two shotgunners already here, but also two fates and two awesome OCs. I like the OCs because they really help a lot at this situation. That's. Oh, yeah, that's the only option aliens have to help defend their nodes and double. But Marines are playing really smart, not going in, not committing themselves, just staying here in the elevator, and every fate knows going on the elevator is like suiciding. Not this time, good job here by the Skulk support, jumping in. Um, yeah, what I wanted to mention is if you go on the elevator, you can just uh, push a button and the fate is trapped. Usually, so you're like twice um, careful what you do at double. At, um, they killed the face gate now in ventilation, and it's really managed to take down the face gate. And can they drop the hive now? We have Nicer at 41 res. They could drop the hive very soon, and if they deny you a face gate coming in now, they could make themselves back in the game. But on the other side, we have the proto ups um, for one and a half minute now. Wow, Almaty was, yeah, he died as a lurk. Just, just checking his score and his res. Maybe he dropped two notes and reload.